Pop culture events, releases, and news happens year-round. November is no exception as we are going to see releases for your streaming screens, your big screens, the silver screen, and screens on the go. It's now time to delve Welcome everyone to another live stream of Delve. I'm Tom Morris. And for those that haven't seen the show before, Delve Live is a live stream and a show where we celebrate everything good about pop culture, that we find the good in pop culture and we celebrate it from video games to movies to entertainment to animation to comic books to books. We always, there's always something fun to talk about. We're starting to get to the point coming October, November, December, where we're going to see a lot of releases. There's still a lot of information that still comes out for this last quarter of the year, primarily video games, uh, toys, action figure collectibles, and of course, movies and uh, series. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about some of the latest news and releases that we're going to see in November, and by extension, some of the stuff that we're going to have in 2022. Let's talk first an update on Masters of the Universe. As you well know, a few months ago, we had the first part of Masters of the Universe Revelation, a um, series that was released on Netflix. We talked about that series. We also talked about the figures that came out, wave one of the figures, because Masters of the Universe Revelation was split into two parts. We had the first part, then we had the release of the figures and the action figures that was released around the same time. Now we're waiting for the second part of Masters of the Universe Revelation and Masters of the Universe figures Masterverse. And I'm sorry if you haven't watched that first part of Masters of the Universe Revelation, but there is going to be some spoilers in this segment. So what is the news with Masters of the Universe Revelation and Masters of the Universe Masterfer Masterverse? I won't say Masterforce like it's the Transformers. Legendary Savage He-Man joins Masterverse toy line ahead of Part 2 release of Masters of the Universe Revelation. This article was by PJ Lewis, Vice President, Global Head of Action Figures for Mattel. Few characters in the Masters of the Universe franchise have so much mystery surrounding them as the legendary Savage version of He-Man. Inspired by a unique Mattel promotion in the early 1980s, fans have never before learned the true backstory of this iconic and elusive character, nor seen him represented on screen. Today, with the announcement of Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 2, Longtime fans will be delighted to learn that Savage He-Man is being reimagined for our beloved fans in content as well as with a new incredible action figure. For years it was assumed that Prince Adam could only call upon the power of Grayskull using the Sword of Power. But Adam himself always wondered what would happen if he called upon the power without the sword. We now know the answer, Savage He-Man. With the full power of Grayskull unleashed inside him, Adam gains a combination of primal rage and all the power in the universe, the raw fury, the brutal strength, and the unbridled speed of ten He-Men. But without the sword of power to temper these mighty forces, Savage He-Man is all strength with no intellect to control it. The barbarian version of our hero leaves his friends wondering if Adam is truly present within the transformed beast, as he tears through Eternia in an uncontrolled frenzy. Luckily, Adam at his core possesses innate compassion, humility, goodness that rivals the power of Grayskull itself. Only the Prince of Eternia could wield such power and be both willing and able to relinquish it once the battle is won. While fans will soon have the chance to see this legendary savage version of He-Man on Netflix for the epic conclusion of Masters of the Universe Revelation in a showdown against Skelegod, they will also, for the first time, have the opportunity to bring this hero home in a completely unique form to add to their collection. Joined by Orko, Eternia's most powerful sorcerer, Savage He-Man represents the latest in the Masters of the Universe Masterverse series, all of which offer highly detailed designs with at least 30 points of articulation for extreme posability and come with each character's unique accessories. The duo will be available at retailers in 2022. 
The Netflix animated series Masters of the Universe Revelation is a radical return to Eternia, and the Masterverse collection brings the reboot to life with equally radical action figures. Each deluxe styled at figures for approximately seven inches tall and designed with the high level of detail fans will love, featuring heroic warriors and villainous foes. The character figures come with swappable hands and multiple accessories for epic storytelling and displays. For collectors and fans who treasure the Masters of the Universe legacy and its expert revitalization, these Masters of the Universe deluxe figures are must-haves. You can see, I love this in this Mattel part that they... Uh, they're posing the figures, the Savage He-Man, and the almost final battle with Skelegod. Interesting take on Savage He-Man, kind of like Adam becomes the Hulk. I, I thought that so. I thought that as well when I was reading this. Earlier this year, we introduced the first wave of Masterverse figures. The latest assortment from the next wave of the Masterverse action figures line is available at retailers now and also includes Tila, Man at Arms, Beast Man, and Spike Or. Now I talk about Barbaric He Man, I talk about Skelegod, I'm talking about these action figures, but the question, I guess, why I said November is. When is the Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 2 going to be released? Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 2 will be releasing in the United States on November 23rd, 2021 at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The War for Eternia continues in the second part of Masters of the Universe Revelation, an innovative and action-packed animated series that picks up where the iconic characters left off. With Skeletor now wielding the Sword of Power, the weary heroes of Eternia must band together to fight back against the forces of evil in a thrilling and epic conclusion to the two-part series. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the conclusion is. Just sometimes these short episodes, even though they don't have as much filler, you kind of wish that you could just have an episode or two where they put some filler in, where they kind of stretch it out a little bit so you can enjoy... Um, getting to know these characters more because just as we get used to them, they're gone for a few months then they come back again and they're gone. When I look at pop culture, I celebrate everything. I celebrate stuff when we were younger, when we grow up and as stuff kind of goes into generations, there is always something that we grow up with that we like to see evolve or maybe it stays locked in terms of as we go grow older we have a fond memory of it but a new younger generation gets to grow up with it and next thing you know it's 20 30 40 50 year anniversary while the cores um it's still in where it starts out books maybe uh television shows but after a while some stuff actually makes it to the live action silver screen and that's what we're going to talk about with Clifford the Big Red Dog movie that is going to be out in November. But first, before we start talking about the movie, let's talk a little history about Clifford the Big Red Dog and his impact in pop culture. For more than 50 years, Clifford the Big Red Dog has been entertaining children, parents, and teachers with his big adventures. In his beloved dog, Norman Bridwell created a literary classic embraced by generations around the world that has become one of America's oldest and most beloved children's characters. Clifford emphasizes good citizenship and the importance of community. Through the character of Clifford, whose heart is as big as he is, children absorb gentle lessons about acceptance and inclusion through Clifford's big ideas. Share, play fair, have respect, be responsible, work together, be truthful, be kind, Believe in yourself, be a good friend, and help others. It's Clifford's every dog kindness that has made him a beloved icon with children and parents for 50 years. Regardless of the specific topic, Clifford's stories always demonstrate tolerance, encouraging young viewers to approach the world with open hearts and minds. 
Since the first Clifford book was published in 1963, the property has expanded to include 129 million books in print and an Emmy Award-winning television series, currently airing on its 12th consecutive season on PBS Kids in the United States. The show has been sold to 30 countries and 12 languages worldwide. As with any pop culture that transcends its original material, you have books, you have DVDs, you have collectible, cute collectible stuff that kids have. And as you grow older, you might see collectibles around the house because it made an impact in the person's life. You also have television shows. Clifford, uh, a pop culture that started out 50 years ago, 1963. You have the author, uh, Norman Bridwell. I want to give credit to Rich White for the headshot that they have posted up. You go from your books, probably coloring books, uh, collectibles. You have DVDs. You have television. Where does a dog of that size go? Clifford the Big Red Dog in theaters and on Paramount Plus November 10th, 2021. Before I go into the synopsis, I want to show you the trailer, the teaser trailer that was released last year. This holiday season, we're thankful for the pets whose love got us through the year. But next year, get ready to love even bigger. Now let me go into the actual synopsis of the movie because it, it's, it just looks fun. And that's what pop culture is at the end of the day. If people are having fun, that's what it's all about. When middle schooler Emily Elizabeth, played by Darby Camp, meets a magical animal rescuer, John Cleese, who gives her with a little red puppy, she never anticipated waking up to find a giant 10-foot hound in her small New York City apartment. While her single mom... Sienna Gulleray is away for business. Emily and her fun but impulsive uncle Casey, played by Jack Whitehall, set out on an adventure that will keep you on the edge of your seat as our heroes take a bite of the Big Apple. Based on the beloved scholastic book character, Clifford would teach the world how to love big. Casey, can't it just stay for one night? One night. Really? How big is he gonna get? That depends on how much you love him. <laughs> Clifford, how did this happen? Who? <laughs> that's the big red dog. So cute. <laughs> Goo, 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 goo. You know I'm a little better. Why don't you take his temperature? Where? In the animal temperature taking place? Mm -hmm. yeah. Clifford, no fetch! <laughs> How has he not popped that yet? <laughs> ah, there we are. It's all over the internet. There's a 10-foot dog in Upper Manhattan. That can't be real. We are offering a $25,000 reward for the capture of the big red dog. People don't like things that are different. There are no other dogs like you. What's he doing? I think he's trying to be small. Got him, Get out! What do we do? We have to save him. I'm in. We're in. Really? What if you found someone who was so full of love? Ah, he's slipping! Made you feel like you could do anything. Your dog just saved my life! I'm getting Clifford out of here. You don't want to drive? How hard can it be? Ah! I'm grounded for life, aren't I? You and me both. Ah! He eats like an animal. He is an animal. I'm talking about him. What? 
there's certain things throughout our childhood or when you're a child that you hold dear and you you collect them as books, you collect them as figures, and then next thing you know, they start aging and you pass them on to your generation, uh, to the next generation, and they pass it on to a generation. Then when you have these moments where it's a big anniversary, a celebration, you go to the movie theaters, you have multiple generations that can enjoy something on many different levels. That is why I think it's really cool that we have so many great things uh, coming up in November that we can all celebrate together.